Hi, this is Susan Leventero. This reading is going to be for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, let's check in and see what is going on here. Let's see. I feel like this reading is going to be someone uh, for someone who is uh, has a partner. Right. Okay. Someone who has a partner. Okay. And has been trying to work it out. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Let's get started. Okay, I'm going to put that like that. Yep, okay. 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 Okay, a lot of this is past, and then this is where you are now, I feel like. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is a story. Okay, so they're suggesting... Okay, so... It's like two people who are... Um, uniquely different, trying to come together... And for some, uh, you may work together, um, but the difference is one feels more emotional and uh, more introverted, and the other one feels more outwardly. So you can choose which one is your you. Okay. Now, so I feel like there's a different kind of love language background. Okay, so one is more expressive, and one is more uh, kind of keeps everything inside okay so now this the Scorpio card okay so they reminded me that in Scorpio they had Mars and it transitioned okay uh, transition Mars transitioned so Scorpio has probably been showing up in a lot of Sagittarius readings and probably because it's that Mars energy also uh, coming into um, yeah, coming into Sagittarius. Okay, so it's it's actually, I feel like it's been there. Okay, so um, now with that, there were some changes. Okay, so Venus went from Scorpio to Sagittarius to Capricorn. Okay, so there were a little bit of shifts going on in between. So you, if you felt like love went out the door, just know that there is that return here with the judgment, okay? All right, so let's see. Focus it here, yeah, okay. Judgment, okay. All right. Let's see if I can get it more focused here. Okay, yeah. Okay, so know that there is that return. So where there may have been a period where you all kind of uh, stayed away from each other and uh, and were reconsidering the relationship, okay? All right, now, here is the Empress card, and I feel like that's you, okay, wanting to birth the new. And some of you have created some things, and now it's like, 
uh, you're wanting to uh, milk it, right? And, uh, and bring it to the light of day and bring it uh, to different places because that uh, Mercury energy, okay. So Mercury um, is also supporting. So it's like, the key with that Mercury in Sagittarius now, and I said this a couple months ago, is to not talk over people and listen more and really pay attention to what the other person is saying, right? It's like not looking for the next thing to say in the conversation, but just really connecting, like eye contact and really listening to the other person. Okay, so it's like not using, uh, like I would picked up back then when that was going on, was one-up energy, right? Saying the next coolest thing or the next greatest thing, or it's like just pausing, taking a deep breath, and just really soaking it in and just kind of like listening, right? And then I felt like that would bring success, uh, that was a couple of months ago, to the relationship now. Maybe that happened and maybe it didn't, right? <laughs> okay. And, and probably some of you actually probably were mad about that. <laughs> okay. All right. So then, um, so this is the three pinnacles reverse, not wanting to work on it or compromise on, at some level. Okay. Now, that could be on your side or the other person's side too. All right. Due to different upbringing and love language. Okay. So, okay, so Page of Wands, so there is that sexual connection that's nice, okay. But um, I feel like work kind of had that on the back burner. Okay, all right, so now what? Okay, so then, okay. Okay, so then you were like, okay, can I keep doing this? Okay, but choosing to be passive and in the relationship and not actually voicing anything. It's like just trying to keep the peace and staying quiet, but not really communicating uh, a certain degree of discomfort. Okay. All right, so Eight of Swords and Hierophant Reverse. For some of you, one wanted marriage and the other one didn't. And one had idea of a dream of a marriage and the other one wants to take it slow. And so that could have caused uh, a problem. Now, I think the reason that happened is because one person didn't have a very um, positive past and that's the reason for wanting to... Uh, move the emotional scale before doing something uh, what that person considered was a big step or a leap. Okay, now Four of Cups. So I feel like on both sides there is a need to kind of heal those past relationships. Okay, and um, so some of you just took to travel. Okay, now, um, in the time apart, some of you decided you wanted to just be on your own, but then some of you were working together, so then that kind of um, had you needing to kind of balance out your energy and keep it together so that you can come back together with this person. Okay, so it's like mixing business and, uh, okay, so. But the good news is, here's the emperor. Okay, so you, I feel like, in the beginning of this journey, is the empress. And that uh, Mars was helping you charge up to keep, go the distance, okay, the, the Mars energy is helping to go to the distance, listen more, communicate clearly, and just keep going. 
going the distance because I feel like whoever wanted marriage will have that. Here we have the Empress and the Emperor, a match, a divine match. But the key is uh, both sides uh, needing to do the work, right? Yeah. Okay. So that was part of the growth process in this relationship to build the bond. Okay. So they're suggesting that you didn't want to get married uh, that soon because you want to sure up the relationship more before you take those kinds of steps. Okay. So part of the problem perhaps is one had had like a, a moon type nature, like not always so expressive. And then that, um, that had you going back and forth. Okay. For some of you. Okay. So for some of you, you felt like the other person was hiding something for some. Okay. But I feel like there's nothing to worry about. I feel like if you just keep going the long haul, I feel like it's going to all balance out. I think that's the message here. You've got that uh, Mars energy supporting you. The key is not to go an extreme negative with that Mars in there. Mercury, you want to make sure you're listening more, communicating and uh, clearly and uh, with compassionate, kind words. Okay. Also, um, more giving energy is what I'm having. Like balancing out the work and the personal life, the romantic life. Okay. So here we are with the perfect match. Emperor and Empress. I leave you with that. Sagittarius. <laughs>